right kids, Batman Puppet Steve here today, checking out the brand new Batman line from Spin Master. Oh yeah, me Batman too! Rawr! So, me Steve, what are you doing? We both agreed I would be Batman! Oh, but I wouldn't be Batman too, because it's so awesome! Yeah, I know, but I'm supposed to be Batman, so get that Batman mask off! No way, I'm gonna be Batman in this episode! Yeah, I'm gonna be Batman too! Yeah, Skeleton Batman! What? Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, get out of the way, you know. Let's just get to unboxing before you guys destroy the place. Ugh. All right, kids, today I'm super excited because well, we got this huge box straight from Spin Master containing all the new Batman toys from their first line of action figures. And when we dump it out, holy cow! <laughs> we see all the action figures inside that oh, make up this awesome line like old Batman here. And not only do we get cool figures like Batman here, but we get a whole wave of good guys, bad guys, Glux figures, and more in this awesome lineup. Oh, and I couldn't be happier. Oh yeah, Batman! Oh, get out of here, Zombie Steve, this is my review. Oh. <laughs> All right, so first up, well, we're gonna have to open up old Batman because he's the main character of this cool series. And not only do we get a cool figure of Batman, but this is the Rebirth Tactical Batman. Ooh, nice. And if that's not your flavor, well, we also get a regular Batman, a gold rare Batman? Oh, weird. And, ooh, a deluxe Batman that comes with this cool bat cycle. Nice, but yeah, let's start at the beginning here and open up just the plain old Batman from the comic book and see what this guy's all about. And you know what? At first glance, I gotta say this figure is incredible. I always wanted a Batman line in the four inches and we get it. Ha, cape and all. It looks like there's all kinds of cool articulation. I love the sculpt of this Batman. That looks great. And then the final test, does he stand and boom, yes he does. Aw, oh, puppetastic. And like I said, I just love these four inch figures because now they fit in with all my other four inch figures like good old Spider-Man here. Cool. Wait a minute, Spider-Man? Ha <laughs> ha, who are you trying to copy? Whoa, 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 wait a minute, buddy. We're not even in the same universe, so you have some nerve trying to critique me. Yeah, 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 well, I'm Batman, and I am awesome! Ha <laughs> ha, take that! Yeah, Batman rules. Oh man, my Spidey senses should have saw that coming. <sighs> now, if we go back to the package here, it looks like we have some mystery accessories that are on this side of the package. I'm kind of curious what these things are, so let's see, let's open this up. And once emptying out the contents, we see, ooh, cool, all kinds of bat gear. We got a bat grappling hook, a batarang, ooh, nice, and some green bat blades. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I've ever seen him use those before, but uh, the batarang for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a villain here. Good old Joker. Nice. And we finally have ourselves, ooh, a worthy adversary to go up against Batman, which is the Joker. And boy, this looks like they packed a lot of detail in this guy, too. Oh, I love the green hair they gave him, the green bow tie, and the purple outfit. Yep, it's pretty much comic book accurate. Especially the uh, little flaps that come down from his backside of his suit there. Nice. So, Joker, me Batman, your evil counterpart. Oh, yeah. Time to go down, Joker. What? Batman? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think so. I'm out of here. No, get back here. Oh, brother, that Joker's a handful. Hey, Puppet Steve, open up some more good guys so I can bring them in. You got it, Batman. And if it's help you need, well, let's open up old Nightwing, which used to be the first Robin. Not that guy right there, but this guy right here. But there's old Dick Grayson in his awesome uniform right there, looking cool as Nightwing. And boy, what a great looking figure, if I do say so myself. And if we check out his bat accessories, ooh, he's got a bunch of them that we can deck him out with. All right, now that's what I call accessories. Look at that, he's got an aqua tank mask on so he can go out underwater. He's got these really cool fisticuffs so he can battle the bad guys with those sticks there. He's got this futuristic gun here for, uh, oh boy, what is that used for? Maybe killing off Decepticons? <laughs> oh man, could be a you. No, oh, yeah, took care of him. All right, we're down to our two last figures out of this common lineup. And next up is good old Robin. Let's get Robin out of here. And I'm not sure if this Robin is supposed to be Damian Wayne or Tim Drake, but any way you want it, well, you've got a Robin coming at you. And boy, I love the look of this figure too. Looks just like Robin from the comic books. He's got the cool cape on the back, so yep, he looks great there. 
Especially if we display him next to the other parts of the Bat family. Nice. So yep, there's all three good guys out of this really cool Batman lineup coming at ya. All right, guys, ready to battle the Joker? Oh yeah, Batman, but hold on because I need my accessories. All right, boy, those are some cool accessories. We get this fighting stick right there and then a sword in this hand. Nice, and with that, I guess we kind of figure out who this Robin's supposed to be, good old Damien, because Tim Drake doesn't use a sword like old Damien. Oh no, looks like that bad booger's got his family together now. Yep, that's right, Joker, we're coming for you now. Well, you better come prepared, Bat Freak, because I'm bringing along my friends, which is good old Man Bat. Ha 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 Ooh, Man Bat! Oh, this is another great figure. That rounds out this really cool common line of figures. So let's get Man Bat out of here. And I gotta say, this is one awesome looking figure, and I'm surprised that he made it into Series 1, because even though he's a Batman villain, he's not that iconic of a villain, but he's here nonetheless, and I gotta say, he looks great. I love that face. There's all kinds of really cool details in there, like his his teeth and the big ears. Oh, I love that. And then we got the uh, the big old bat wings coming off of his hands there. And then his feet look pretty darn cool because he can claw your face off with those things. <laughs> yeah, and all the way around, yep, this is one cool figure out of Batman's Rogue Gallery that looks great. Ah, yes, Batman, but I'm not done yet because Bubba Steve, you forgot about the exclusives. Oh yeah, the exclusives. I forgot to mention that when it comes to this really cool lineup, there are exclusives that you can pick up, like this one right here. Ooh, we've got King Shark, that's a Target exclusive. And then we've also got, ooh, Killer Croc, that is a Walmart exclusive. So if you want these two figures to add to your collection, we're gonna have to go to both stores to pick these guys up individually. So let's go ahead and first pick up, we'll open up King Shark here. Boy, he is crazy looking. And I gotta say, this is a pretty cool looking detailed figure too. <laughs> He's a hammerhead shark with eyes on both sides of his head. He's got that big old fin on back. Yep, tons of articulation except for his head there. So, nope, his head does not articulate. And yep, this is a really cool figure. Unfortunately, I don't think he's a Batman villain. I remember him being a Flash villain. Ah, oh, weird. King Shark, what are you doing here? You're my villain. Well, King Shark goes wherever he wants. So get out of here before I pound you into next week. Uh, uh, okay, have fun, Batman. <laughs> oh, thanks, Flash. Not gonna deal with this jerk. Oh, man, looks like it, Batman. And not only do you have to deal with King Shark, but you also have to deal with the Walmart exclusive of Killer Croc. So let's open this guy up here. And ba bam we have ourselves, ooh, that hulking beast of Killer Croc. And I gotta say, I've seen a lot of Killer Croc figures, and this one takes the cake because he looks just like the one from the comic book. So yep, I just love his face. It looks great. And the scales all over his body look great too. Tons of detail for this little figure. It's like four inches high. And boy, I gotta say, when it comes to character selection of the Batman's Rogue Gallery, they really went with the biggest and hulking beasts that Batman has ever faced. And if you're wondering what accessories these guys come with, and wow, check it out. Oh, Killer Croc here looks great. He comes with a sewer grate he gets to throw around. <laughs> He's got chains on his hands. That's pretty cool. Good old Man Bat here. Ooh, gets extra long claws that are green in color. And good old King Shark here. Comes with two guns to blast you with. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Uh oh, gang. Looks like we're a little outnumbered. Yeah, I'd say so, Batman. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up that accessory, which contains the bat cycle, run them all over. So come on, Puppet Steve, unbox that thing. Oh yeah, oh, you said it. And now it's time to open up that really cool Batman accessory, which contains the bat cycle and, oh man, Clayface. Yeah, this is awesome. So let's open up Batman out of here first. And we see that this Batman's all rearing to go on that super cool bat cycle. And you're gonna need it too when you're facing off against the exclusive figure of Clayface here. Nice! This is another figure that I've seen a lot of different variations of. And I gotta say that Spin Master pulled his look off beautifully because he looks just like he does in the comic book. Oh, I love the sculpt of the face they gave him. And one hand looks like all clay, and the other one looks like a big old wrecking ball. They can smash it, the good guys there. And of course, when we put him next to the other Batman villains right here, holy cow, looks like we've got five in all this Batman set. All 
right, gang. Time to get that stupid old Batman. Oh, but hold that thought, Joker, because we have yet to pull out that bat cycle. And this thing looks puppetastic. Look at that. We got the wheel in front, wheel in the back, and the front of this thing looks pretty cool too. I think it looks pretty comic book accurate if I remember this thing correctly from the comic book. And it looks like we can put old Batman up here. Wow, looks like he'll write it pretty nicely. So all right, Batman, time to get you into position here so we can knock out the bad guys, which we'll do in one felt swim and... <laughs> oh yeah, they're down for the count. All right, kids, well, there's all the super cool Batman figures coming at you. And it looks like we get eight different main characters in all. And of course, it's not counting all the other Batman that they've also made, which I think there's like four or five of them floating out there that you can pick up right now. And what's even more cool than that is that Spin Master also made a DC line featuring characters like Superman and Cyborg and a bunch of others, which we don't have just yet. So we'll save these for another review. But if it's more Batman figures you want, well, it's more Batman figures you'll get because <laughs> uh, Spin Master sent us another box full of their Batman 12 inch line. Holy cow, I didn't know they're making 12 inch Batman. This is cool. So let's see if we go further in this box here. Looks like, ooh, we get a classic Batman. So it looks just like the tactical Batman, but only classic in style. Let's see, we also get, ooh, a Harley Quinn, a 12 inch Harley Quinn. And last but not least, we get, ooh, another 12 inch Batman, but this one has a black collar instead of a blue collar like that right there. Cool, and then we get this 12 inch Batman right here that has rapid change utility belt. It looks like he swivels and does all kinds of cool stuff. So that's pretty cool, I've seen that at Target. Nice, and it looks like we get a figure two pack. Oh, cool. It looks like this is an exclusive two only at Target. And look at that. <laughs> Oh, we get another King Shark. That's exclusive to a uh, Target there. Cool, he's in the 12 inch line too with, ooh, the Batman that looks like he comes with the uh, the Bat Cycle Batman from the uh, four inch line. And then last but not least, looks like we get this accessory here, which is a Batman gauntlet. Ooh, so you can exchange fisticuffs with bad guys. And I think this lights up too, so. Whoa, cool. Like <laughs> oh man, it has the voice of Alfred in it. Oh man. Yes, please. I want to see the Batmobile. <laughs> oh boy, that's really cool. So yep, you can purchase all this stuff at Targets and Walmarts. So make sure you check there to get your really cool Batman merch, courtesy of Spin Master.